Electivire is back with the Indigo Disc DLC, and it got some much needed buffs. It now gets the brand new 100 power electric move, Supercell Slam. This is a huge electric stab upgrade from Wild Charge, but its main downfall is that if it misses or hits a ground type, you crash and take 50% damage. However, it also got a huge buff in the form of Bulk Up. This provides Electivire with much needed setup to both attack and defense. We can pair this with Trailblaze to have ground coverage and boost some speed, or work with the classic Motor Drive to switch into electric attacks to get plus one. Finally, Electivire now gets access to Knock Off as all around solid coverage to remove items, and the Electric Yeti is back and better than ever. Alright look, Electivire has always been one of those Pokemon for me where even if it's not top tier in the meta, I just enjoy using it because he's just a cool guy. If you're into that kind of thing, you should definitely hit that subscribe button. 9 out of 10 doctors recommend it, the 10th one doesn't know what he's talking about, let's go ahead and jump into the match. Alright, so my opponent is going to go ahead and lead off with the Blaziken. I was thinking something like the Gliscor, so I decide to lead with the Frostlass. And this is not the ideal matchup for me, of course speed boost Blaziken is an absolute menace these days. And at this point, I figure I can at least go for a nice little layer of spikes, potentially break some focus sashes in the back, and I do have a sash of my own. So I know that this Blaziken can't one-hit KO me, however, he is going to be able to start boosting all crazy, and I'm not going to be able to pull off kind of the Destiny Bond shenanigans that this thing's built for. So I do at least sprinkle a little layer of Legos on their side of the field, and at this point I figure I really just kind of need a little bit of chip damage off on this Blaziken. I'm kind of afraid of this thing and I figure if I can get enough to the point where something else can knock it out like Tentacruel, it should be fine. So, I take a spicy chicken fiery high knee to the damn nose, which does knock me down to my Focus Sash, but most importantly this does allow me to fire off a nice little neutral Shadow Ball. So we do also see that this thing is Life Orb, and the damage on this Blaziken is kind of ridiculous. At least I can't afford to let this thing to set up a Swords Dance, or else I'm going to be in, in some chicken trouble. So. Uh, at this point, of course, they do outspeed me here. I don't really have an option to switch into anything, as I've got enough chip, and I feel pretty confident that at least I do have the Tentacruel in the back to handle this. So, they do finish me off with a Thunder Punch here, and what's actually kind of cool is I do get the 30% chance to get the Cursed Body. So that's going to disable the Thunder Punch, and now, Tentacruel actually looks like I'm having a much better time switching into this thing. Its highest damage is going to be something like a like a Brave Bird or whatever, but it boosts its speed just to unnatural levels. I don't know what they're feeding these damn chickens, but this does open the door for Tentacruel to kind of save my ass here. So I am specially defensive, but I know that I can take at least one attack from this thing, and they don't have the super effective option uh, with that Thunder Punch. So I just decided to go for the Surf, as they are going to end up switching. They want to save the Blaziken for later, and they decide to go into their best check to this, which is going to be the Metagross. But guess what? We're out here, we're on the beach, it's a beautiful sunny day, and Tentacruel says, hey, Kawabunga, bitch, I'm going to go for that Surf, and it's not going to do a whole lot to this Metagross. What that tells me is this is probably Assault Vest, and that means it's going to be running something like Trailblaze, and it's overall, it can get out of hand. So, I decide to just stay in here. I know that I'm going to be faster, because for whatever reason, Tentacruel's like base 100 speed. Little Tentacles start going crazy. I can knock off that Assault Vest, as they actually just decide to go right for that Earthquake. So... It is unfortunate that does end up taking care of the Tentacruel, but I don't really have a whole lot of options that wants to switch into this thing, but now that I get a free switch into whatever I like, it is time for the Electric Yeti to start doing what this thing is built to do. So, it is now a beach party out here because I'm actually holding the Air Balloon here. I came with balloons ready to party, and I'm going to go for the Trailblaze here. I want to get that speed boost. If I can get that, I actually can outspeed everything on their team. And I'll tell you what, a fast Zap Squatch is a scary Zap Squatch. So I get that plus one with the Trailblaze. I know that I can take any attack from this Metagross that wants to throw at me, but they actually make the huge mistake in forgetting about the Air Balloon. They see that super effective message on the Earthquake and figure I'm going to click it. You literally get like two seconds to acknowledge the, that I'm floating in the air with the Air Balloon. So they make a misplay there, but now it is time to see if we can capitalize with the Electivire here. So they figure they go for the bullet punch. That's going to pop the air balloon, effectively ruining the party. And I'm like, damn, at least I can get a bulk up. I now have plus one attack, speed, and defense. And if you thought that I was all out of balloons, you are mistaken because I'm actually also working with the Terra flying. And while my balloon did get popped, I got four more <laughs> kept in the back pocket. And now Electivire is once again immune to the earthquake. So I'm going to take this opportunity to essentially go for that Terra flying knowing that they're going to click the Earthquake after popping my first Balloon. I can then get a free Bulk Up, and now I'm sitting at plus two attack, and this is an extremely scary Electivire. Literally, the access to Bulk Up has kind of changed the game for this thing. So they do fall for the bait, they go for that Earthquake. They're like, damn, this guy's got so many Balloons. I can then 
freely go for the Supercell Slam, and there is not much on their team that wants to deal with that. So they decide to switch into Gengar, and Gengar's ready for the party, except he is gonna get absolutely slammed. Comes in, takes a little bit of spikes damage, and yeah, the 100 base power Supercell at plus two attack is definitely gonna knock out a Gengar. And we're actually over here chilling in a really good spot with this Electivire. Honestly, the plus two, the, the extra bulk up was probably not necessary, but they're gonna end up going into Torterra here. They're thinking, okay, at least we've been able to scout this thing's moveset. They've seen Trailblaze, bulk up, and Supercell, but what they have not seen is the Ice Punch, and that is an absolutely allergic as hell tree to my ice, and that is gonna end up taking care of it. Ice Punch coverage on Electivari is super good lately, especially for things like uh, Gliscor, Torterra's ground types do not have a fun time. So, now they get a free switch into the Blaziken, and here's where things get a little bit interesting, right? So Blaziken at base 80 speed actually needs two speed boosts to be able to outspeed the Electivire. Also, I cannot click Supercell Slam on the Protect or Detect, as I'm actually going to crash and take a bunch of damage. So I instead go for the Ice Punch, as they do Protect there, and they get one speed boost. However, Electivire at base 95 speed, um, with that Jolly Nature, is going to be able to outspeed this thing, since we're both at plus one. And an Ice Punch is just enough to do it, just in case they wanted to try me for a second Protect. Ice Punch is enough at plus two. And down goes the Blaziken. So, now they decide to go into the Gliscor. Listen, they've already seen the Ice Punch, so I figure, you know, they probably go for a Terra here. It's kind of their best option. But I also don't really want to click Super Slow just in case they you know, stay ground type. So, they do actually end up committing the Terra. And it's like, damn, he do be kind of fresh, though. However, this is going to be this is gonna make it so all of my attacks are going to be neutral here. And the defensive Terra is not going to help them a whole lot on offense. It turns out Ice Punch is going to do a nice little chunk damage, but they end up having Facade. So the reason why you run Terra Normal Facade on this is because once you get your Toxic Orb to activate, you get Poison Heal, plus it boosts the damage from Facade. Uh, but they actually, they didn't have time to activate that Toxic Orb before going for the Facade. And I assume their only other coverage is gonna be Earthquake. And obviously they cannot touch me. I can then go for a Supercell Slam, end up getting the crit, which actually doesn't really matter. Um, but the chip from the Ice Punch puts it in range to where that's gonna take care of it. And the very scary Pokemon is out of the way, and we are over here just absolutely vibing with our crazy balloon hat. So, uh, their final two Pokemon are going to come in the form of the Blaziken and the Greninja. So, they decide to go Greninja first. Again, I'm still sitting at plus one speed, and there is not a lot that this thing can do. I just outspeed it, go for that Supercell Slam, which honestly is kind of rolling the dice. You have a 5% chance to miss and do 50% to yourself, but we out here hitting. We brought our glasses today. We are not missing, and the final Mon is gonna be that Metagross. Comes in, takes, you know, just the unnecessary chip from the spikes, and a Supercell Slam is gonna be able to finish off the match for us because they do not want the smoke from the Electivire. So, sometimes you have to body bag some fools to put some respect on Electivire's name because he d demands respect that he has not received yet. So listen, I actually also have one more match because that was a fun one. Let's get into it. So for round two, we are going up against a team that's looking pretty scary, but honestly, Electivire has a nice little opportunity to where if I can set up, we can have ourselves some good old fashioned electric fun. Let's jump into it. All right, so look, one of my favorite aspects of using Mons like Electivire is a lot of the time people just do not respect it and give it kind of the attention it deserves. So this is a good, a good showcase of that. Anyway, we're both gonna go ahead and lead off with a couple of bugs. Our goal is to both set up the sticky web. However, I'm thinking they have the super effective electric attack on the Araquanid, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna switch directly into Electivire here, hoping that I can get that motor drive to activate um, instead of them going for that sticky web turn one. So I come in, I got my air balloon ready to party. They do in fact go for that sticky web, but I come in even with the air balloon, I'm floating above the ground if I were to switch into that. And now this puts me in a pretty solid spot to go for that bulk up. I know that this Vigavolt doesn't have a whole lot that it can do to me here. Probably Bug Buzz has its best option, but they're actually gonna end up switching and go directly into one of the best checks to Electivire or else it would seem on paper, which is gonna be the Gliscor. So I get up the free bulk up and this thing has, first of all, fucked around. And now we gotta make sure that he finds out. So I get that plus one in attack and defense. I am gonna be faster as they do get their Toxic Orb to activate, which is fine, honestly. Big Meaty Claws over here is about to take an Ice Punch to the face, and at plus one attack, that is gonna be able to just knock out the Gliscor. So, down goes a huge threat. They did not commit the Terror there, which is amazing. And now they actually decide to go into the Blissey. So it's looking like we're having some scrambled eggs today as this thing comes in. Um, I should be able to do over half with a Supercell Slam to it if I can connect. And I figure this thing actually doesn't have really much that it can do to me in return. So I go for that Supercell. It's gonna do well over half. As they actually just take this opportunity to set up the Stealth Rock. Buddy is thinking late game. He's like, all right, this, 
Electivire, it's not even that big of a problem. They set up the Stealth Rock here, which then allows me to essentially just go for another Supercell Slam, but I figure, you know, there's no reason for me not to go for another bulk up here. Again, uh, the Blissey, it doesn't have any coverage, and especially at plus two defense, this thing is not doing anything to me, as they do go for the Body Slam, flatten me into a Pancake while popping my Air Balloon, which is honestly fine, does nothing to me, and now they're gonna find themselves in a pretty bad spot. With, they have a team that's not really fit for the Electivire at this point, especially at plus two. So, another Supercell Slam does take care of the Blissey, and now this allows them a free switch. So they're gonna go into Crocodile. Now listen, a lot of the time, you see this, it's gonna be running Choice Scarf. And you may notice I actually do not have a speed boost with the Trailblaze on this set. So what I'm gonna do is just go for the Terra Flying. I figure if they are Choice Scarf, they're gonna be able to outspeed me, but I can just float above that Earthquake and then the Electivire essentially is just out here in the money. So the Balloons are back and it's important to note the only way that this Crocodile outspeeds me is with that Choice Scarf because at Crocodile's 92 speed, I'm actually able to outrun it. It's not Choice Scarf and an Ice Punch at plus two does take care of the Crocodile. So not having the Scarf there was unfortunate for them, but they probably clicked Earthquake anyway. And now we're absolutely going on another Body Bag session as now they go into the Vicavolt. So Vicavolt has a little bit of a weird matchup here. It's only, you know, super effective moves are going to be things like the Thunderbolt. However, with Motor Drive, they actually cannot go for that. And then their second best option is going to be like a Bug Buzz, which we now resist because of the Flying Terra. So I go for the knockoff and they just fire off an Energy Ball, which I, of course, resist. We take nothing from that. And once again, put some respect on Electivire's name out here. I can finish it with an Ice Punch. I don't want to miss Supercell Slams to just kind of throw the match, essentially. But that is going to take care of the Volt. And now they're down to two Pokemon left. So first they decide to go into the Chandelure. And of course, this is a different set where I am running the knockoff coverage over Trailblaze. And it is super nice because I'm able to outspeed Chandelure, again, unless this thing is Choice Scarf. And knockoff just straight up knocks this thing out. So... Just broken Chandelure into a thousand pieces. And their final Mon is going to be the Superior, which, again, I do have the defensive typing to handle this thing because Leaf Storms, while it is going to be able to outspeed me, I can take a Leaf Storm all damn day out here, and I have the Ice Punch. So they go for that Leaf Storm. I'm able to live it thanks to the Flying Terra, and an Ice Punch is just going to absolutely obliterate my dude. So that's going to be the end of the match. I feel, I really, I've been using Electivire for a while now, and while it's not extremely easy to pull off like this it's very satisfying when it does work and i just like uh, I, I figured you know what sometimes you gotta post a couple body bags with the electivire to give them some respect so again thank you guys very much for watching i really do appreciate all the support on these videos and i will catch you next time peace out